Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. We're opening these up! Hello, everybody! My name's... Uh, I mean... I'm, I'm Duke! I'm Duke! And today we're back with an episode of 999! <laughs> we have found... Almost all of the doors, and we're going to be having to decide wh who goes where. We're in the end game. Woo the pieces of paper they've unfolded lay that they folded up lay on the ground next to Junpei's legs. I got the paper. There were seven of them, all told. Oh, all conveniently just laying there in a pile. They were written on paper, pulled from Junpei's notebook, and each one bore a code name and a door. Could you move the mouse, please? No. Okay. A code name? Thank oh, wait, here. No, we don't. Yeah. We don't need it yet. We don't. No, don't give it. Why'd you give it to him? He'll skip dialogue. <laughs> Why have they decided to vote that way? They decided it wasn't fair to simply ask everyone at once. It would allow people to force others to go through certain doors. Well, that wasn't the only reason. Junpei had proposed the voting system, and he had a plan. It wasn't a plan he'd wanted anyone catching wind of, however. So he did his best to act calm as he began to open and read the pieces of paper. He's gonna rig the votes. <laughs> the first one read Ace request door one. Oh, wait, sorry, that's Junpei. Ace request door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? Not really. No, we don't have time for that. Sorry. Let's keep going. Shut the fuck up, old man. <laughs> <laughs> he opened the second one. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Yeah. Junpei continued with the third, fourth, and fifth pieces of paper. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Steven er, and Seven Steven. also. <laughs> Steven wants and happy two. Happy birthday! Seven also wants two. Eh! Wait, 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 wait a minute! There's no way I'm going anywhere with that elephant man! No. There'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But! But! Just give it the fuck up, Lotus. God damn it, woman! <laughs> Not like I want to hang out with some ex exhibitionist grandma. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I am not an exhibitionist! I'm wearing clothes! <laughs> Jesus. Barely! Oh my god. So? Last I checked, that's not a crime? Maybe, but what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Jeez. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My goat. What do you... I, <laughs> I, <laughs> what do you mean, raisin? She's not, like... Being an actual bachelor is a privilege, not a right. Oh, my God. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, my God. Da, 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 they da, have da, a Looney Tunes da. cloud fight. <laughs> Lotus had... Hair flared out like a mane of an angry lion, and she roared with a voice that shook the walls. With some difficulty, Ace managed to restrain her. Junpei! Do the rest! Done right! Junpei tore his eyes away from and looked down at the six piece of paper. He opened it. June wants door. Well, fuck! June wants door six. Yes. I don't really have a reason, I just felt like. What? All of, the, <laughs> all of the papers saved Junpei's had been read. He did some quick calculations in his head. Da, da, that's the boat! <laughs> People who requested door one equals Ace and Clover. This was the door on A deck near the central staircase. People who requested door two, Seven and Lotus. We're not taking door two. No matter what, we're not taking door two. I'm sorry. No, we're not doing door number two. <laughs> this was the door on the bottom deck that could be reached by taking the elevator to the bottom of the ship. People who requested door 6, Santa, and June. This was the door on E-Deck and could be reached by taking the elevator near the central staircase down. It took him less than a second to run the numbers. He opened the seventh piece of paper and spoke. Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... Ah, shit! Okay, so one or six? One or six. So, door... And this is the question of, do you want to go with Ace and Clover, or do you want to go with June and Santa? Do you well... want to finish with our girlfriend and our friend... Or do you want to basically start a new conversation with Clover and Ace? The issue is is that I guarantee that June is is zero. I guarantee that. So you want to go through door six uh, to follow with zero? Is that how we? Is that how that works? Well, yeah. here's the weird thing though: is that 
Wait, how does anybody else go through the doors? Because we need three in order to get through. I think we'll just say fuck it for now. And not worry about it? Not worry about it. So do you want to do six or one? Uh, it's. I don't want to do six. Yeah, I think six would be better. But just the fact that... <laughs> and, Jensu, the fact how that do you feel? I'm scared about Clover. She's innocent. <laughs> yeah, but Jensu, how do you feel? Clover's 100% innocent. Uh, I say we go door two. Door two? Oh, funny. God, no. It'd be funny, It'd be funny with Duke, with Duke just screaming at himself the entire I, I, time. I can't believe that like outside of recording we fucking said this. Of, like, well, wait, that'd be funny. <laughs> like we literally guessed that that would be said. Yeah. Door six. Let's do door six. Door six. Door six. It is because it's nine upside down. One. All right. Door six. It is. I want to go through door six. Junpei flipped open the piece of paper. It read Junpei door six. Of course it did. He'd written it after all. <laughs> That's a problem. June spoke barely above a whisper, but they all knew what she'd said. None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. There's not enough people to open the door, number door, apparently. Uh, unfortunately. The digital routes don't match up either. We've got similar problems. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six, but our digital route is five. If we're gonna go open that door, we need a one. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Oh, we just made it more complicated. What are we going to do? Junpei crossed his arms and did his best to put his thoughts in order. The others followed suit, but with little result. Eventually, Clover broke the silence. Oh, it's you. Why does Seven and Lotus go through door one? With me. Her face was cold and flat as her voice, but her logic was sound. Oh, shit, she had a flat voice. Seven and, Z and Lotus looked at each other. Seven plus eight plus four equals 19. One plus nine equals 10. Blah, 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 one. The first problem resolved, Ace spoke up. Uh, what about me? Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? You mean, I should join Sanders' team? God damn it! <laughs> We're literally going to be on the team with everybody that I'm accusing to be <laughs> yeah. Sarah. Yep. God damn it! Yep. I guess that means everybody else is safe. Over. Yeah, it, I think, to be transparent, I'm pretty sure from memory, it's if you went with door one, you would have gone with Clover, essentially. Ah. Ah, oh, but she's she's innocent. I want to go with someone who won't kill me. <laughs> go through door six, and it's guaranteed someone's bad. Ah, oh. Clover nodded, her face still cold and emotionless. Her attitude and posture could not have been more different than the energetic girl only a few hours before. No one seemed ready to contradict her. Her response was understandable, given how the horrible situation in which she had found herself. But even so, I understand. I'll go through door six when. If we do as Clover suggested, then we could all pass through a numbered door. No one will be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 1 is 15, and 1 plus 5 is 6. 7 Lotus? What do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me neither. Alright then, we're good to go. I doubt it. I doubt it. At last, Junpei and the other six had managed to separate themselves and the two teams. Clover, Seven, and Lotus headed to the A deck. <laughs> they went to a deck where the door one was, near the main staircase. Junpei, June, Ace, and Santa. All right, wait, hold on. Okay. So we have Junpei, June, June Ace, Ace, and Santa. So that's... Yeah, real quick, real quick. June, Ace, narrator. Yep. Junpei, and Santa. Santa. I guess I'm narrator. I get... No! <laughs> you get Ace. No, I, I, I want to do narrator. Too bad. I want to be narrator. Too bad. What? Let's do it a vote. I'm the narrator. Let's do a vote. Give him ace. I vote I vote uh, narrator. Give him ace. Narrator. No! <laughs> yeah! yeah! I've been the narrator this entire time. We haven't talked in like 10 minutes. Give him ace! <laughs> Flip a coin. Do you want Ace or do you want June or June? <laughs> ace or June? I'll take June pay. I'll take your... One of two. No, and do you want Ace? What? Fine, I'll take Ace. Thank you. Bitch. It's just a narrator. I, 
I think it's good to have. Tyranny! I think it's good to have the narrator be the same person the entire time. Tyrant. The ride to E deck was a silent one. All right, let's go. Santa's words jolted them into action, and they stepped out of the elevator into a long, straight hallway. Uh, I'll be only the narrator. You want to no, also? God no. <laughs> Before long, they arrived in front of the door six. One by one, they put their palms over the red. Three, one, six, five. Knees weak, arms heavy. With a soft electronic noise, <laughs> authenticated each of them. Kind of worked there. Ka dunk. There's a VHS tape. Yeah. <laughs> the door opened, and all at once, four of them leapt through it. They all got funk <laughs> stuck in the same time. Fortunately, the dead was located easily enough. This one had been placed quite close to the door they've entered through. They gathered around it quickly and hurriedly placed their palms on it for authentication. Authentication by one by one. Da, 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 da. Goodbye again, He Man! It stopped. Yes, it stopped. The countdown had ceased, but Junpei's heart was still pounding in his chest, like a frantic, thunderous drum. It felt as though it might shake him, shake itself up and down, up and out of his throat. He'd been through the doors three times before, but the repetition has not dulled the experience. He was not anxious to find it dulled, however. He hoped to be free of the ridiculous game long before that happened. All right, let's go. <clears throat> With that attempt at good humor, Junpei took a deep breath and began to walk. He jogged down the stairs <clears throat> at the end of the hallway and found himself staring at the large door. That's a door. It was a heavy thing, made of iron and more than, than a little threatening. He took hold of the bar that served as its doorknob and shoved it down. He broke it. They were trapped there forever now. <laughs> the room beyond stopped him in his tracks. Well, uh, it was a gargantuan made entirely of metal. None of the ascents of wood, none of the accents of wood or tile he'd seen the rest of, in the rest of the ship. This room was purely functional, but utterly tremendous. Whoa, what the hell is this? <laughs> Santa got out a few words before Oz stole the rest of them. The rest, too, were stunned to offer anything more than guests. It was easily the largest room they'd seen, and yet it somehow closed <laughs> and oppressive. The ceiling was at least two stories high, if not significantly more. It was easily several hundred feet across, and appeared to stretch the entire width of the ship. In the center of that gargantuan room stood a massive, rounded build. Even from a distance, the sheer bulk of it was... Oppressive. Junpei could feel the room, the building, even the air pressing down on it. Junpei and the others were standing on the scaffolding that crisscrossed the whole area. The proper term was catwalk, Junpei thought, although that didn't seem particularly important. Alright, let's head downstairs. Nearby was a long iron staircase that made its way eventually to the floor beneath them. I sure wish we could see it! <laughs> it's right there in the corner. <laughs> no! <laughs> it doesn't help my joke! They moved around towards the opposite side of the massive building following the catwalk. They hadn't said much as they walked, but as they approached the building, Ace suddenly spoke up. This looks to be the steam engine room. Why is he a beetle now? <laughs> Why is he Ringo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she actually missed that I was under, uh, like, basically under my breath. Ringo. Ringo. <laughs> as quietly Ringo. as possible. Just prepared. Just make it a, I'm Ringo. Make it an old man. Steam engine at room. Make it an old man Ringo. Ringo is old. <laughs> <laughs> the steam hands. Steam hands. We'll get it entirely in your kitchen. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a cross section of a mushroom is the boiler. No, so, oh, do you see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. I wish I could look at it. Even if Ace was right, the boiler was boiling, no was boiling nothing as they approached it. The entire room was as silent as the grave. Did you know I was a beetle? Yeah, suddenly, <laughs> Ace started recounting his past life. Ah! I can prove it. Lucy in the sky with jewels or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jupe, Jupe heard a noise from behind him. He turned just in time to see June collapse to her knees. 
Woohoo! Catch me! Hey, what's wrong? Are you alright? He dashed towards her and wrapped his arm around her shoulders to steady her. It was then that he noticed. You. You're really the killer here! <laughs> You're hot! Is your fever coming back? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Probably is. But I'm fine. Please don't worry about me. I just need to rest, and I'll be fine. Her voice was weak, forced, and it said a great deal more than her words did. She would pay care of her to the nearest wall and propped her up against it. All right, you lose another voice. <laughs> fine. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> You're solely the narrator now. Hell yeah. She let her head fall back against the wall as if she no longer had the strength to support it and drew a ragged breath. <laughs> her eyes were empty, as if she was having trouble focusing them. And even speaking seemed difficult for her. Mama, spaghetti. <laughs> for everyone! <laughs> Junpei felt his hand ball itself into a fist and clenched tight, his knuckles whitening. But he was red! He, he had to find a way out, and quickly! Dun, 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 dun. He turns and looked at Ace and Santa in turn. They might not have shared the depth of his emotion, but they were certainly shared his concern. <laughs> it's like, no, we weren't doing anything! <laughs> well, now that it's the three, do we, uh, uh, should we each have one? Nah, I'll take the narrator. Okay. He didn't need words to express the urgency of their situation. Passing off Junpei like a hot potato? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> fair, but I'm pretty sure June isn't dead or anything. No, I'm saying, like, she seems to have passed out, so now it's three people. Would that fit of our trio do three people? <laughs> well, let, let's keep going first. Let's and know. you're Junpei. Junpei? You you're Junpei now. Or do you want Junpei back? No. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I like doing Ringo. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bust. I'm gonna get you out there real soon. <laughs> Hold on, guys. You go over that way. I gotta do something real fast. <laughs> it's been like five minutes. It's fine. One second. I'm making an Evangelion reference. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> suddenly the opening to Evangelion, please. She managed... Just a small nod before... Tumbling Fuck you. Down, down. She managed a small See. nod before leaning back to rest her head on the wall. See, you gotta, you gotta just take Darn. this sometimes. Because he's distracted. <laughs> You'll be too distracted. No! Seek oh. way out. <laughs> Gen Z was wildly throwing the mouse around. <laughs> oh! Oh, God! It's a big room. This is a Oops. big ass room. Uh, uh, I believe this opening is for fueling the furnace. If we were to put some coal in here and ignite it, then the steam engine might start working. It's certainly possible. <laughs> Did you know I was a beetle? <laughs> Stop recounting your days of woe! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to find coal. Whoa! Oh, okay. Is it made out of gold? This gear is rusty. It looks like it's still pretty sturdy. A golden gear! It doesn't look like it was always golden like that. Well, then, I imagine it was prepared especially for this game. Okay. Cool. I'm referring to the video game, by the way. Uh, go Looks like there's a door over here in this tunnel. <laughs> the belt over there must deliver the coal, which is then picked up and thrown into this. What metal is that gear? <laughs> door. Dun, 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 dun. The dun, door dun, dun, appears dun. to be welded shut, however. What are ah. we Metal Gear? Well, we're playing the spin-off first. Yeah. Stairs stretch from the catwalk to the boiler. Uh... I mean, there was another. There were more down there. Oh. It's a tunnel. Goes all the way across the ship. Fuck all. It's a square <laughs> hole. It goes in the square hole. Nothing in here. Hey, look at the back wall there. I can see three small slots. Terminals for some sort of connector, perhaps. You mean you think we're supposed to plug something in there? My penis. Why is it square? <laughs> look it's at that. Because butt. I'm a beetle. Look at that butt. <laughs> it's going orange, right? That's gotta mean something. I'm guessing pressing it is the best way to find out if it does anything, Santa. Wait, what? Um, nothing. This button is going orange. Nothing happens when when it's pressed. Well, fuck. Uh, conveyor belt. What's that thing on the side in front of it? I'd say this is probably here to to move coal from place to place. On a yellow submarine! <laughs> it probably comes over here, there. 
And then the belt carries it down the tunnel and out the here. So if the conveyor belt was moving. Yes, the coal would almost certainly come out the here. Did you know that J.R. Tolkien hated me? Because we wanted to play the hobbits? <laughs> I said, hey, can we play the hobbits? And he said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> There's a pair of wooden boxes here. There's nothing in them. Convenient. Right. Sandbag. Look, Ace! It's some kind of snowman secret meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Those are just bags full of cocaine. I'm gonna miss this game. You use them as counterweight when you're lifting something with a pulley system. Man, you're too serious. <laughs> That was the best joke of the entire thing. In other words, I think you grab them and you put them on the box. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Wait, 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 click them again. Oh, click. never mind. Fuck me, then. What? Click, click the, the sandbags. sandbags again. Shit. Oh. It's a silver gear. Oh, no. Do you think it's made out of pure silver? No way. Silver is way too soft to use for a gear. It's got to be steel or Let's find out. Gear. Well, yes. It's been coated with silver. <laughs> uh, shouldn't have called it silver gear then. Should have. Shouldn't have got your hopes up. <laughs> Were you thinking you'd, you'd haul this thing back? Nah. Well, I think Seven could probably carry it, don't you? No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Rusty, but it looks like it's still pretty sturdy. Bruh. Okay. Well, click the sandbags again. Exhaust the dialogue. Yeah. You know, they put sand in them. All right, stairs. What does he click stairs? Oh, oh, oh. What is this? Oh, my God. Given its placement. <laughs> this must unlock the door to the left. There's a weird indentation on the top of this thing. You think that means that you have to insert something here? My, my penis. <laughs> submarine. Yeah. I would imagine so. I will submarine my penis. Looks like this thing unlocks the door. There's a depression here that looks like it's the outline of three circles laid on top of each other in a triangle. Sick iron door blocking our way. You think this is... No. Looks like the exit. Looks like this door is the exit. I know you were thinking my <laughs> penis. No, it does not look like it. Though it is square. Oh man, Junpei, I can't believe I missed something so important. Oh, here we go. What's so important? Look at those stairs. Look at them carefully. That gap, that height, that angle, it's perfect. It's a... Oh. Perfect? Perfect for what? Whatever, just bring Clover here right now. Tell her she needs to walk up and down these stairs. Huh? Wait, what? Huh? Clover's, Clover's not here. What the hell is he talking about? Why Clover and not Lotus? Because it's a... Uh... Wait, go back. Go up the stairs and then click those boxes underneath. What, is he attracted to, uh, to Clover? I huh. guess... That's a that was a very weird statement from Yeah, was he trying to get an upskirt shot? Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, no, she's the only one that has that has that a skirt right up to there, yeah. Yeah. Gross. There's a number of wooden boxes piled up at the bottom of the stairs. They're all empty. Oh great. Number of wooden boxes piled up at the bottom of the Yeah. That one. What if we click sort of is where the call goes or would go. Three of these things had a rusted shot. Shit. <laughs> You're great at this. There's a huge oven for this boiler. There are three open areas in it. Each of the open areas has a gear. Wait, go to click the middle one. The middle one. No! The middle gear. Solid? <laughs> Is it bronze? Yeah, 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 yeah. huge Mama bronze. Mia, gear. Mama Mia. This has to be important. Well, the, the thing in the back. Weld it shut and won't open. Okay. Click the gear. Looks like it's still pretty sturdy. Click the gear. <laughs> ah! It's a huge bronze gear. It has to be important. Oh, great. Okay. What if we go back to the silver one all the way down? Silver, bronze, and, then... and gold. Yes, we know. No, no, no. Okay. There doesn't seem to be a gate back there. Okay. So, never mind. Wait. Huh. Keep huh? turned. Huh? Uh... Huh? Which way? Uh, Which way, Western man? My Western ancestors say... I don't fucking know, man. There's a barrel That's a video game. Sweet. Unfortunately, it's empty. 
Just like the yellow submarine! Shit. There's literally nothing here. Shit. Can we go into the tunnel? Try clicking the mouth of the tunnel. Oh, oh. Go that way. Yeah, what's this way? What the hell? Oh. Oh, it's just behind. And another one. It's the back. No. But, no, no, no. But it looks the same. Yeah. Wait, I think we're, I think we're getting... Wait, hold on, hold on. Watch, watch, watch. watch. No, stop. What? It's the... It's the same room with the same gears all the way around it. So it's yeah. like the, those three like extra parts right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those were those things. Okay. Yeah. So we so we we were just going in circles. <laughs> I blame you. You're the clicker. It's all wrong. Click the game, game clicker. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Click down there, down there. Anything, 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 anything. What about right here? No, no, the the circular things. Yeah, yeah. these ones open. Yeah, these are the oh, ones that know, open. Yeah. For fueling the fuel furnace. Anything else? Bottom of the mess. We're a little brother. too dumb. I'll look it up. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I don't have a degree. <laughs> Man, you know how great it is to have a degree. No. Seven degrees of separation. Wow, that's it's so great. You get all the jobs. <laughs> like the many that we have. Wait. Like the many that I have. Yeah. But apparently, stairs are perfect for something. We're being a <laughs> catwalk in the upper floor. There's a staircase that reaches out from the catwalk to the boiler. Can we go there? Click the, the stairs. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Three sliders are all on the left or down, but this one's up. What's up? There are a number of lines engraved in these. I suspect we are meant to do something rather specific with them. Junpei, why don't you move that slider down? There's no harm in trying, I suppose. Yay. Donk! Nothing. Ringo. Nothing happened. <laughs> That's sort of... Ringo. He says Ringo. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be prepared somehow. I like how we always like have like the Beatles become like Pokemon, basically. <laughs> You're saying if we did something somewhere else, it respond somehow? Yay. My penis. Ringo. I suppose that's one way of putting it. There you go. <laughs> See, you fucker. What? 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 Let me move on with my joke. It's, uh, you, or you can say the lines. <laughs> Ringo! Nothing! It won't move at all! Slider's down. Looks like Santa wants to give this one a shot. Yarg! Damn it. Nothing. This thing won't budge. And then last one, sliders down. We'll I want to do this thing. thing. <laughs> I want to care about it now. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, no dice. This thing is go isn't going anywhere. All right. Now the, the all the buttons, all the buttons. <laughs> These two columns are different from the others. <laughs> the lights are red. Oh no, they're. <laughs> Which ones are red? <laughs> Okay, make a guess. These two. God damn it, man! I Thank want to see him suffer. You. Thank God you. Damn it, man. I want to. I want to exploit the colorblind man. <laughs> uh, yes. Up the stairs more. I want to play a game. This is the door we came through when you entered the steam engine room. Oh. Yeah, I want to play a game with you. With you, Duke. Take off your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and read. Ooh. Now read your lines like this. <laughs> One of the doors of the furnace. There's now a nail. <laughs> There's a circular wheel in the center of the door. Now be there <laughs> without his glasses. All right, let's give that sucker a twist. <sighs> oh. Well, it's noisy, but it opens. And it's totally pitch black in there. We should, um, go in there. All right. I trust you. <laughs> let's. Okay. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Wah! This looks just like the door we went into. Jinzu, please talk louder. Please. Uh, if the blind can't be uh, exploited, then another blind will be. It's see no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil. <laughs> speak not at all. I'll get it. Duke, just put on your glasses. I'll, I'll get it. Just put on your glasses. <laughs> just put on your glasses. We must be on the other side, yes. Be careful with accidentally pressing something. <laughs> which, which would put us directly above the conveyor belt. Oh, hell yeah. 
at any rate, we should keep moving. There's a great deal we've yet to investigate. All right. Go get it. Put your glasses back on, motherfucker. <laughs> you told me to take them off. Shut up. There's a whole bunch of boxes in my way. I can't get through. That door. That door. Oh, I, the catwalk. See some saf- scaffolding on the wall over there. The sea door. No, sea door. Dong. <laughs> oh. One box hanging beneath the catwalk. Ah. From the winch. It looks like there's something in the box. Ah. Can you click it again? Blocking my way. Click the, click the box again. No. It's like there's something in the box. Yeah. How do we... How do we get so, how do we get into the box? Can you turn any further? No, it's just the one of the great metal ribs of the ship. I think June's resting right underneath it. Hey June! <laughs> 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 oh, pfft. god damn it! How do we not click that? It looks like a hand-operated winch, but it doesn't look like there's any way to uh, operate it. <laughs> Take I, off my glasses. Yeah, yeah. That means the wheel isn't attached. All right. Well, we're going to be figuring this out next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. On Dragon Quest 12. What? No, that's not 105. <laughs>